Hi again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm. I'll start today by pointing out that some of the stems of my roses have turned black all the way from the tips down to near the base of the plant. Now, blackness and black stems means dieback, and so this should concern me, right? Well, because of the timing and because of what we saw this last winter, I have a strong feeling that this is just seasonal damage and not some sort of disease or problem that will carry on and infect my roses. So let's have a closer look at this damage. I also want to parlay this into a conversation about what you should be looking for in a temperate climate like mine, where you've had a winter, you're coming out of winter, and look at the condition of your plants and see this and know what to do in terms of pruning, timing of that pruning and what other things you should be doing with your roses this time of year if say you're a novice rose grower. Let's have a look at the damage here see what we can tell. So first of all you can tell that it is dark black all the way from the top tips of these stems and as I move downwards on the rose you're going to see that it extends downwards right to the point where you have the bigger thicker canes coming from the base those canes would have been more protected by the plant because the plant would have decided they were more important than the extremities, but also because they were further down and perhaps more protected by snow or other cover. It is the pattern of this damage, the fact that it is not in patches or blotches uh, and that it extends from the extremities downwards towards the center of the plant. Plus the fact that it happened after we had an unusually cold winter in our area that clues me in that this is cold damage. I'll show you one other thing is that the damage is present on this plant here. This plant is Stevens Big Purple, which is a hybrid tea, which is hardy down to zone six. It's also present on this plant over here, Olympiad, in a pretty pronounced way, which is also a Floribunda with a similar hardiness level, but it is not present at all on this plant over here, which is uh, Chloris, an Elba rose, which looked like it took zero damage at all from the tips downwards. So, and that one is down to zone three, I think. So uh, zone hardiness actually makes a difference on plants. When I talk about zone hardiness, it doesn't guarantee you that if it's below the zone that you're in, that it, you'll have no damage. But what it will mean is that you're more likely to have your plant survive. Returning to that Olympiad, for example, I would have no trouble making all of the calls that I need to make right now. Looking there, I can see some of the black stems that I have to take out from the center of the shrub. Really, this is the point of spring pruning, or at least one of the main points of spring pruning, is to remove some of that winter damage and the damaged stems from last season before it leafs out and makes it really hard for you to spot them. So this would be the before, and this would be the after. Something like this, on the other hand, still looks fairly dormant, and I can definitely see some black tinging on the stems, but what would be the harm in waiting a little bit to see what this looks like when it leafs out and I see where the new shoots are coming, and then I can more easily identify those stems that it's given up over the winter. So for this one, I wouldn't see the harm in waiting a few weeks on that. Now, other things that you'll plan on doing at the same time as you're pruning in the spring is if you have a mulch on it, you would replace that mulch and remove any dead leaves from the base of the plant. And I'd usually do an early feeding at this time as well. If I have organic fertilizer on hand, I use that. I'll show you a bag that I have of that one. Or I also could just use, if I have it on hand, the bulk amendment I like a lot is alfalfa, meal, or pellets, which I usually just use a cup and scrape it into the base of the soil around the plant and let that give it a good boost to start the season. I'll be around throughout the season as well just to see if it needs anything else. Thanks for joining me as I assess the winter cold damage on my roses. Uh, I don't get a chance to do this that often. We're in a mild climate and I'm not really looking for a chance to do it more often, but really it is no different than assessing any other kind of uh, pruning that you would have to do in the spring. You're looking to target those dead, diseased, damaged, crossing branches, weak and spindly growth and to thin out the rows a little bit. That's usually plenty. So uh, cold damage is no different uh, and you do want to try to tackle it before the rose leafs out and then it's harder to spot. 
spot. Now certainly if you're sitting on the fence, uh, when it's very clear cut, you have black at the top and green at the bottom, you can tackle that now without any doubt. But if you're just seeing a blackish blush on some of the stems and the plant hasn't come out of dormancy yet, certainly there's no rule that says you have to do it right now. You can tackle that in two or three weeks when it's very clear which way the rose is going to go with that. Some people are very worried about how much damage has been done to the, to the rose. If you see green at the base, in general, if it's a strong growing rose and it's well established, it will bounce back just fine. It has dormant buds down low that it will reshoot from. It's really when you see that the rose is that dark black color going right down into the crown, then I'm concerned that you've lost that rose. At the same time that you're doing all of this, I just wanted to remind you it might be a good time to do a cleanup of any fallen leaves or stems or anything that would be harboring disease. Get that away from the base of the rose. Uh, replace your, your mulch if you've used some. Uh, fertilize for the first time and maybe the only time depending on how much feeding you need in your garden. And uh, those would be the sort of routine tasks that I key in my head for happening at the same time as you do the pruning of your roses. All right, if you have any questions about anything I've talked about in this video, please drop that down in the comments and thanks again for watching.